Now at 5.30, next week marks the beginning of hurricane season. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration released its hurricane forecast today, saying this season will likely be below normal. New at 5.30, meteorologist Pete Mangione joins us now with more on what we can expect over the next several months. Here in Providence near the hurricane barrier, people are optimistic about NOAA's prediction of a below normal hurricane season. After going through storms like Sandy, southern New Englanders should be pleased with the Atlantic hurricane forecast released by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration on Wednesday. NOAA is calling for 6 to 11 named storms, 3 to 6 hurricanes, and 0 to 2 major hurricanes. Looked at in terms of probabilities, there is a 70% chance that 2015 will be a below normal hurricane season. So why the low forecast? The El Nino phenomena, which has developed in the Pacific Ocean and is expected to last through the end of the calendar year. El Nino favors higher wind shear in the path of many Atlantic hurricanes. Wind shear is the increase in winds with height, and it tends to tear apart hurricanes. In the spots where tropical systems like to hang out, sea surface temperatures are around normal and actually cooler than last year. This lower available heat should mean not as many storms can be cooked up. But Joseph Love, who enjoyed a Wednesday afternoon motorcycle ride to Providence, correctly points out that it only takes one bad storm to make a quiet season an active one. We're so far up north compared to the Carolinas, uh, we feel safer, but we can't let our guards down. He does pay attention to the long-term outlooks and says the forecasts have improved since he was in the Navy. They would give us advance notice on which way to avoid the hurricane or a large storm, but as you know, they're pretty big and they're hard to avoid. And later on this season, should a hurricane ever get close, you can always track that on our website at WPRI.com using our hurricane tracker. I'm meteorologist Pete Mangione, Eyewitness News.